Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Nick. Welcome to Bam Bam Print. This is going to be an unboxing video of the P1S and this is going to be my second P1S that I purchased and just thought I'd do this unboxing for you all to see what's inside the box. Hope you enjoy this video. You want to do it too? Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to my channel, Bam Bam Print. My name is Nick and this is this is my assistant Reese and we're going to be doing an unboxing video of the Bamboo Lab P1S. Set those up there. Set those up there. <laughs> Put those up there. Yeah. I know how to pop these. <laughs> yeah, those are your favorite, huh? All right, I'm gonna lift this up. You're gonna move the box out of the way for me. Go. They tape the bag up. All right, grab the, grab the bag, put it in the box. Make sure that the glass is not broken. That is the number one thing that breaks in shipping. And our glass is fine. Next, we're removing the zip ties from the extruder. I'm just gonna get it in there, watch your hands. Go ahead and pull that one. Be careful. Now it's gotta go the other way. Here's what the back side looks like and the other side. Quick start guide will get you up and running in about 10 minutes and we're gonna do that right now. So let's unbox the goodies. Spool holder assembly. Okay, next step is going to be the bed unlock and the screen installation. All right, I quickly wanted to go over some of the goodies that you're gonna get once you open up this little box here. We're gonna start with some nozzle wipes. You're gonna get a couple extra of these. This is uh, what the extruder will rub the nozzle against um, when it's trying to clean the nozzle if they break or if they go bad. You've got some replacements here. You also got some lubricant grease and some thermal grease. Um, that's for maintenance. And then you've got this little guy right here. This, this, uh, the spring looking end is basically just like a cover. There's actually a needle underneath. Um, this tool is used uh, when you get a clog so that you can that you pull this you pull this off, you stick this inside, um, and then you're, you're able to loosen up the, the clog um, of whatever filament stuck in there. Um, next is gonna be some replacement parts for the extruder. This is this is a, an extra extruder. Um, you will have to do some uh, uh, replacement of some replacement parts of the what 
the extruder is that's currently on the machine. Um, it's not just a plug and play. You can't just screw this in. Um, you gotta you gotta take some of the the current extruder apart. Um, you can you can purchase a full a fully completed extruder though um, on Vandor's website. Um, some Allen wrenches and a PTFE tube. Um, this could be used if you wanted to uh, print a mod to run the filament uh, holder on the side of the machine. And this is a couple of rubber, they're like little rubber pieces for the phone holder. Um, so when you put your phone on it, it doesn't slide around. Um, I haven't printed this yet, but um, it might be something I'm gonna do here in the future. Um, and then I've got an extra magnet that goes with the scraper. So I printed the scraper, give you, they give you this blade, the screws, and then once you print it, you can put this magnet here and it just sits right in there like that. And you can put it wherever on the side side of the, or the back of the printer where there's some metal. Um, I probably won't end up using this holder um, because I have a riser that will, I can just print this and just slide it right in on the, onto the riser. But um, that's, that's basically everything that you get. Um, I would recommend doing your maintenance about 500 to 1,000 hours in. Um, don't I'll go over that, but here's some great um, lubricant here to get started with. Um, there's also some you can buy online, obviously. Um, but that is what comes in the box here. Why is it, why is it spelling with Minecraft letters? That's just a font. <laughs> go. All right, so me and Reese have moved the second P1S to its temporary spot. This is definitely not going to be permanent. As you can see, P1S number one is printing right now on a one-day print. It'll be done tomorrow sometime in the afternoon. And we're going to set up the next one. We got it plugged in. It says make sure you, you, you read the, it says make sure you read the manual carefully. And I do recommend you do that. <laughs> so go next. Let me go get it. Screw number three for the bed is right in the back, right back there. We remove number one, number two. Okay, next we have removed all the screws from the hotbed. One, two, and three. Wants us to ask our location. And then it gives us our QR code to scan. Use the Bamboo Handy app. Confirm and then bind. Pair. How's that print doing over there? Good. Looking for wi looking for the Wi-Fi oh network. Gosh. That scared me. <laughs> There we go. Enter your Wi-Fi password. Probably backwards, but get the idea. Before running the self-test, please remove three screws from the hotbed. Yes. Confirm and start. So as you can see, this isn't the most ideal setup, but it is temporary. My plan is to print a shelf on here and that will house the resin printer that I have sitting right here on the floor now. The cure box and the washing box, those are gonna go somewhere else for now, but that is the plan. This will sit on top of here after I print a nice shelf uh, for that riser. These will go on a table that's much wider so we can get some space and the poop chute that you can see back here now. Isn't, isn't quite 
isn't isn't quite gonna fit, so we're gonna have to print a new kind of poop shoe. Poop shoe? Poop poop shoe. You mean printer poops? Printer poops, yep. Alright, that's the end of our unboxing video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it wasn't perfect, but it was probably the cutest, right? The cutest? You mean <laughs> the printer poops cutest? <laughs>